In this video, we will be discussing about the relation between KP and KC. The relation between KP and KC is expressed by the equation KP is equal to KC, RT, delta N, where KP and KC are the equilibrium constants for an ideal gaseous mixture. KP is the equilibrium constant that is used when equilibrium concentrations are expressed in atmospheric pressure and KC is the equilibrium constant that is used when equilibrium concentrations are expressed in molarity. Relation between KP and KC is that KP and KC are the equilibrium constants of an ideal gaseous mixture in a reversible reaction. KP is equal to KC, RT, delta N or Kc is equal to Kp, Rt, minus delta N. Kp is the equilibrium constant of pressure and Kc is the equilibrium constant of concentration. R is the universal gas constant, T is the temperature in degree Kelvin and delta N is the change in the number of moles of gas molecules i the difference between the total moles of gas products and the total moles of gas reactants. Let's discuss the derivation of the relation between Kp and Kc. Here are some quick insights on Kp and Kc. Kp is the equilibrium constant given as a ratio between the pressure of products and reactants in a reaction mixture. This equilibrium constant is only applicable to gaseous reaction mixtures. Kp depends on the partial pressure of gaseous components in the reaction mixture. Here P indicates the partial pressure. Pp, Pq, Pr and Ps are the partial pressures of the gas components P, Q, R and S. The exponents P, Q, R and S are the stoichiometric coefficients of each product and reactant in the chemical equation. Kc is the equilibrium constant expressed as a ratio between concentrations of products and reactants in a reaction mixture. The molar concentrations of the components are utilized for the expression of Kc. Here, A, B, C and D are the concentrations of reactants A and B and products C and D. The exponents A, B, C and D are the stoichiometric coefficients of each product and reactant in the chemical equation. In the expression of Kc, the concentrations of the products and reactants are raised to the powers equal to their stoichiometric coefficients. Factors affecting the relation between Kp and Kc are The relation between Kp and Kc changes on the basis of the value of the number of moles of the gas molecules that are involved in the reaction. The three possible scenarios that affect the relation between Kp and Kc are shown on the screen. Scenario 1 If the change in the number of gas molecules is zero, that is if delta N is equal to zero, then Kp is equal to Kc. Scenario 2. If the change in the number of gas molecules is positive, that is if delta N greater than 0, then Kp greater than Kc. Scenario 3. If the change in the number of moles of the gas molecules is negative, that is if delta N lesser than 0, then Kp lesser than Kc. The difference between Kp and Kc are Kp is the equilibrium constant defined as a ratio between the pressure of the products and reactants in a reaction mixture and Kc is the equilibrium constant defined as a ratio between the concentrations of the products and reactants in a reaction mixture. Kp can be used only for gaseous reaction mixtures and Kc can be used for both gaseous or liquid reaction mixtures. Kp is given by units of pressure and Kc is given by units of concentration. With that, we come to an end to today's video and for more exciting content and relevant information check out our website at www.getmuni.com.